finally here with Tim Fisher. How you doing, Tim? We ain't like fleeing, baby. We, we got a nice day to work with. Look at sound effects. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> oh, well, ooh, welcome to the gold branch gold mine. It's crazy around here. We're gonna find some gold today, bro. Are uh, we gonna find some? We're getting a late yeah. start here, but I, I tell you, you know, it's an interesting area. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're near the Portis Mine with uh, yep. lots of um, it, it, history. Deep history, yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. know you had a creek right yeah. on your gold mine. Oh, yeah. I got oh, I'm ready to start panning yeah. right now. I know you got water. Oh, man. Yeah. And you aren't kidding about that clay. It's all. Oh, oh you ain't seen that? You, you can look like that. Everything the red great. monster when you're through. Yeah, I have to call our friend Red from Colorado and see if he wants to sponsor us with the golden <coughs> sand. We can do it. I think that's still alive, don't you? We can do it. Little mini pump. There's <laughs> yeah. your red clay. Yeah, right there. there you go. No termites needed. Nope. Uh, okay. So, taking a tour of the mine. Wow, we're in a pan and trough. Yeah, we got pan and trough, so we're trying to get this opened up, and uh, we're gonna put uh, all we're gonna display all the stuff in there. All that stuff's coming out, and it'll be all stuff that we've been relics from the gold mine. That's where that'll be displayed at. So, oh, cool. Kids want to learn how, or adults want to learn how to pan, and we'll put yeah. them right on it. Wanted, dead or alive? No, wanted gold. Yeah, yeah. that's true. That's true. So all if right. you want to get your picture, I feel taken, like I'm in a haunted museum here, but that's the plan. Can baby. I pan the ground here? This looks pretty rich on the ground here. This There's material. probably some gold in it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You guys with all the gold, you got extra just laying around here. Let me show you uh that's the uh famous Oh yeah, that's thing Mike that Mike Pung, Pung got. I'm not I'm not going in that one. <laughs> I don't trust it, man. I'll tell you. Come on, man. Go got an outdoor mine. Johnny house, you got to go, there you go. Oh, is that, is that the buck house? Look at that, it's a picket fence buck house. Yep. Yee That's a man. I, I already brought, uh, I don't need much. Oh, look, it's even got a mirror. Even the outhouses don't have a mirror. Yeah, man. We That's pretty that. good. You're taking care of everybody. There are peepholes, so if you're funny about your privates. You, oh, peephole. You ooh. <laughs> oh, no comment on that. <laughs> All right, All right, what's brother, this? this? This is the wash plant building. This Woo! is uh, this is my uh, in one of my trommels. This is like I said, I, it was the the gold screw. Got one of the. Oh, okay. So this trommel, what's it, this running on it? Gasoline engine right there. Okay, and what is that motor? How many? Uh, I think it's a two. No, it's a five. That's a five horse. But I'm uh, redoing the valves in it. That's why I got that. No, but I'm redoing the valves so we can be ready for this season. There's or the famous gold, the gold cube. Chest it or lose it, baby. Yep. And the reason this is built like this is there is a, that's it. The, we're going to put a door right there and a rail system that goes right out like in the oh, old okay. days. And yeah. you dump your dirt and it'll go into a uh, sluice. All right. Come so in the future, families yeah. can come by here. Yeah, working on and, it. And they don't have to pay really much of a fee, maybe just a parking fee or something. Yeah. It'll and probably be like a $40, $40 job and you keep the gold and, you know, probably going uh, That's not if we bad. can we'll probably give you a gold pan to go with it so you'll have something to take home to carry yeah, with you somewhere else all right and uh what county are we in in north carolina this is nash county if you throw a rock cross road we're in franklin county okay. so we're right on there's like three counties nash franklin warren um it, it's a hub right here where they all hub up to nice well thank you for the tour let's go get on some gold we'll gold. be back on another film in a little while let's do it hey everyone Here in eastern North Carolina, uh, near the Portis, Portis gold mine, and uh, just running this little high bank here. Thanks to Tim Fisher, who had the uh, connection and permission to uh, get us on this creek here. The gold Adventures with Bobby Freedom. Well, I'm out here in the old Portis mine site, and we're doing a little dry land mine. We're bringing back buckets. And Tim told me it was like Mars here because it's so red. And now that I'm here, I see what he's talking about. We're loading up some buckets on the wagon to bring back and pro uh, process through trommels and high bankers. Uh, and this is the old uh, minefields from uh, the Portis Mine. And it's mineralized, as you can see. Tim's over here. He calls this gully gold. Tim, tell us about gully gold. Gully gold, baby. That's the ticket. Look, we've uh, been doing uh, real good so far, just spot checking. Uh, right over the hill there was a, a 1910 wash plant that's where they kind of got started with the bigger operation once they got into swing and uh, it's been abandoned for 
100 years. Yeah, about 100 years. Well, they worked it 100 years, didn't they? Well, off and on. Not, not as much as you think. 18, what, what, what was the start? Yeah, 1836 or something like yeah, that? Yeah, 18, uh, 1831, I believe. Okay. But anyway, it, it was in the uh, early 1800s they found the gold here. And, mm -hmm. uh, and it progressed, but they used a lot of primitive stuff, you know. And in 1910 is when they put that wash plant that was a little more up to date, still primitive. Yeah, and, and a pretty big operation, and they found a lot of gold here, but they left a lot of gold here. When the Civil War came, it was all over. Yeah, they quit, and yeah. you know, uh, then the, of course, the, when the gold rush in California came through, boom, everybody left here, left everything. You know, yeah. even though gold was getting good here, they just moved on. You know, and you're just getting it off yeah, the surface. Yeah, just... you can see the decomposing uh, quartz. You see decomposing, and we just get it right off the top like this. Uh huh where it washes, and then I concentrate a little bit. Oh, you do a little classifier. Yeah, and just a little bucket's a little lighter. Yeah. Okay, just folks, we'll bit. show you what we get. I'm out here in eastern North Carolina doing gully gold with Tim, and I sure do appreciate you bringing me along, Tim. You got it, brother. Let's get Tim, some gold. Where are you taking us now? I'm gonna show you what the, one of the original mine shafts were. She was pretty long. Original mine shafts. Yep. Okay. I'm, it's not a big climb, though. It's not too bad. Folks, you tuned to, to, to Gold Adventures with Bobby Freedom, along with Eastern Outdoor Expeditions TV show, Tim Fisher. Hey, man, brother. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm not going in there. No, it's too crazy. That's the original mine. Well, what about these? Hey, there goes Bobby. Oh, all the way down. <laughs> This, was, uh, yeah. this is all. This looks like some nice ironized material here. Yep. I'm gonna just, uh, out of curiosity, just take the mine lab uh, uh, profile on there and just check that out a little bit. I'm just gonna see if there's any nuggets or any signs of anything here. Looks like mica there. Uh, I don't see any manganese or anything like that. A lot of clay, and there is some iron. Signs of iron. And... Well, I had to give it one quick scan. You know what I mean? I just I couldn't. You, I, I don't have the coil. The coil's back. The regular metal detector is back at the campsite. looking at now Tim you can see the metal over there check this out they had a uh, like a regular dredge like a bucket had, line they had like a yeah like a drag line what's in the a drag line okay all right and they were on the table this is one of their uh one of their many pillars oh, workings well this is the, where they had the, the drag line was mounted in like three places and you okay. see there's some of those steel off of off of the place Watch out over there yeah Interesting. It's a historic area. Yeah. So well, I'm gonna swing a detector at some point today. I hope I don't find tin. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. There it is. Well, let's get back and uh, run, run, some, some run, run some dirt and uh, see what we got so far. We're probably gonna run. We're gonna run ten buckets now. Yep. And then. Uh, We'll run another 10 before I hit the road. I'm three hours from here in Charlotte uh, area. So.
this one big poisonous snake right there. Cotton mouth. He is ready to go. Folks, can you see the cotton mouth? Uh, That's what it looks like. Yeah, he doesn't look too friendly there. Can you see him? Yeah, it's got his big mouth. Snake right there, boy. Oh yeah, see him open his mouth when I spit at him? Well, I hope he don't go straight at you. We should mess with him, man. We should just stay back. But we're working right down here. We've got to get rid of him. Right? Yeah. We'll get a log or something, man. Don't hurt him. Here we go. Check him out, folks. Look at him fangs. Wow, you see him turn? Yep. He's wow. short and fat, boy. Damn, he blend right in with everything now, I'll tell you. Look at him, look at him. Oh, he's just right in his viper pit. Oh, there he goes. Oh, Tim. <laughs> I want to dig right there. <laughs> Go ahead, look at him. He's mad as fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, good shot. Ooh. There he goes in the water, folks. Let's just see which way he's going. <laughs> and he might have a cousin in here. That's what I'm worried about. We might be standing right on him. Damn, I'm going back north. That's it. I've seen enough. <laughs> he went under water. Yeah, he went under them logs right there. Yeah. Hey, well, that was a pretty helpful. Right in the creek. Yeah. But notice he's in the area that has a lot of briar and cover. And he's in the he was in the logs right in the middle of the stream. <laughs> okay. Gold Adventures with Bobby Freedom. I just had my first cotton mouth and I'm ready for Vermont. <laughs> what do you Live think, Tim? action. Yeah, now yesterday we had the gun, right? Today I said, ah, we don't need we that. We left it in the car. Right, right. Okay. Always bring the gun, folks. Yeah. That he was. wasn't coming after us. He was just doing his own thing. But yeah. we, we want a prospect in there. We weren't going to shoot him. But if he's coming towards us. Yeah. But if he put he bites you, you know, you're yeah. going to be down for a while. You, you, you're you going to give this up for the summer. What do we got going here, Tim? You made this trommel, huh? Oh, yeah. Up for, oh, you got yeah. it. You got it on a garden cart. Oh, homemade, brother. Nice. Redneck engineer. That's pretty good, and I got the gold fox over here. Oh, yeah, it's that gold fox. Uh, we're running some material that we hauled with the quads, and uh, we're starting out with five buckets each. That's ten buckets together, if you yeah, can do the math. Gold, bro. And we're going to see some gold in a few minutes. I'll show you what we got. But he made this. You can see the tailings coming out here with pine needles because it's nothing but pine trees out there. And uh, nice job on the homemade trommel, man. Thank you, brother. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll clean it out and see what we got, and uh, show it to you folks. Could be some gold from the gully. Gold Adventures with Bobby Freedom out here in the country. Say it, brother. We're here. <laughs>